Good morning, everybody. Day four on the Benton Mackay. I camped right up on the hill, right on that knob last night. So nice and comfy. That was nice and warm. The wind wasn't bad at all. It was great. And I slept in till like eight. <laughs> so yeah, I got a pretty easy day today. There's only a couple options for me. So I'm gonna get into Blue Ridge get some resupply and get a plan together that's the dealio anyways about it for the morning info and i hope you guys have a great great day and i'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views you know just like i do baby let's go enjoy this day got a lot of downhill this morning All right, check it out. There's a parking lot right there. We came off the trail right here. Boom, cut this way. <laughs> and now we're on this old fire service road, which is super easy. And I think I got a different plan of attack for today. Um, you guys will see it all unfold as it happens. Don't worry. My brain's always turning on how I can get more efficient out here. <laughs> well, this is the first for everything. Telephone wire coming up out of the stream. <laughs> well, 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 far out was right. Here's a gate. It's a mighty fine gate. That's what we need for our driveway in Maine. Gate. <laughs> wow, this is gorgeous. Popped out in this open little field area. Wowza! So nice. <laughs> and this is private property, so. Gut hooks are far out, will tell you. It is private property, so be respectful. <laughs> Last thing we need to do is make the homeowners or the landowners mad. They don't let us walk through here. Then you're probably walking roads. <laughs> so be respectful. Even if you see a piece of trash, pick it up. Which, on this trail, <laughs> I haven't seen any trash yet. Which is wild. Zero trash. I love it. Leave no trace, baby. Oh, it's another gate. And this looks like somebody's house right up here. Definitely is. Nice place. Boom. Personal property. Behave yourself. Okay. If I'm reading far out right, so we've got eight miles of road walk right now. But if it's a road like this, I don't really care. It's pretty peaceful. That road right there is Highway 76. To go right takes you to Blue Ridge. That's where I need to go resupply. Road noise. <laughs> anyway, that's where I gotta go resupply. And uh, we'll change the plans. I'm not gonna do it here. 
I had an HST member reach out to me a couple days ago, said I'm in his neck of the woods if I need anything. So I hit him up this morning. He's gonna meet me like six more miles so I can get six more miles on trail before I go in town and resupply. All right, let's play Frogger, baby. Okay, made it across the road. And now we are, we're gonna be on private property for a little while. 3.8 miles, I think, or 6.8 or something. Not sure. Oh yeah, I'm excited. I thought it was gonna be all road walk. <laughs> we're real close to people's houses and stuff, but I think we're just making our way over to the road. From that busy road over to this other road. But this is nice, considering I thought I was going to be on the road. What, please? Watch for hikers. <laughs> How awesome. Looks like we're going to go over here down this road, up that road. Okay, I was wrong. We're not on the road. The road is right here, though, literally. <laughs> we're in between the road and the rubber tracks. Which is way better than pounding pavement. It's a nice little surprise waterfall. Yeah. Super cool. And boom, I'm back on the road. <laughs> Usually it's for the children. Ah, wow. <laughs> Holy cow. What a little slice of heaven. This is a trail. Looks like we're going to someone's house. America, baby. <laughs> oh out of the road. Look at this place. Indian Rock Shelter. Wow. Solar lanterns. This is a nice shelter. Hey, look. Some sunglasses. Nice. You got a bench, benches. Oh, I struck my three musketeers. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna take these sunglasses. I might take them out of here so there's no trash here. Oh, here's a mirror too. I can see what they look like. <laughs> these aren't for me. <laughs> All right, I'll carry them out of here. But yeah, I need to show you guys this. This Indian rock shelter, it's beautiful. This is such a nice community back in here. Probably an association. <laughs> Yuck. Well, I just realized I haven't been filming in a couple miles because I've been weaving in and out of these houses. But we're pretty much, well, you can still see them up there on the ridge, but I've been walking right through this neighborhood. <laughs> what a great neighborhood. Yeah. Mm, what else? What else? What else? Oh, I've only got like two and a half more miles to go for my day. 
before I'm getting picked up by HST member. Taking in the Blue Ridge. <laughs> yeah, HST, baby. It never seemed to, it never failed to amaze me. There we go. Always surprised with HST. <laughs> Good group of people. You know, hikers. Oh, we're close to it. So, it looks like the rest of my day, 2.7 miles, I'm going to be on the road, <laughs> which is good because I'm behind schedule for my ride, and I can really make up some good time on this, on the road. So, yeah, oh, wait a minute, there's a double, double diamond here. I might go turn into the woods. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to swore it was road the rest of the way. Oh, it's road the rest of the way. They just doubled it up for some reason. I see another one way down there. I'm glad I'm here this time of day. Traffic is minimal. Brushy head. It's the final piece of road walk. I came down from that way. Now we're going this way. 1.5, I think. To the trailhead at the end of this road. Yeah. It's getting warm in the sun. It's miserable not having sunglasses because my eyes are like sensitive to the sun. But I'm going to cure that problem today. I'll get me some new sun sunglasses, new shades. This is really pretty. <laughs> it's a pretty. Booyah. So that truck just passed. That is my ride. Brought me Mountain Dew and Mean Beans. And I chose the Mountain Dew. <laughs> Trying to wean myself off the Mean Beans. I might take one if he's got one. Or if he's he's got one. I might take it for the later for the hotel. But road noise. Yeah, that is Dixie Mick. Um, he first... I'll throw a picture of Mary after this too, after this video. Uh, but I first met him on the Pinhoti Trail, and then I saw him at the Fontana Marina. I've seen him all kinds of places. He was at Springer Mountain to finish my hike with me in 22. I think it was 22, I don't even know. They all blend together. <laughs> Anyways, thank you Dixie Mick for showing up with drinks and uh, give me a ride to Blue Ridge. I really appreciate it, my friend. All right, one more mile and we'll get in his truck. He asked me if I wanted to ride. <laughs> he knows better. <laughs> Half mile. Lunch on the trail. Trail lunch. Trail lunch. <laughs> Texas make those for me. Those are nice. And snagged on a couple yeah. trees. <laughs> Alrighty guys, end of day recap, day four. Look, hotel had paper and pen, so you guys are in luck. I can have my mileage for the uh, end of day recaps. So today we started at Skagen Knob, mile 46.7, and went to the end of that road walk at Brushy Head Road at 57.1, makes it a 10.4 mile day. A little longer than what it was gonna be. It was gonna be only 4.3 miles um, to 76, but luckily Dixie Mick came through and I was able to put in six more miles to get to the end of that road walk. And then he brought me, oh, actually, <laughs> He picked me up at that road walk, had mean beans, Mountain Dews, donuts, and then he took me down to the Tacoa Riverside restaurant where he bought me a trout dinner. Mmm, it was delicious. Thank you so much, Dixie Mick. Yeah, for giving me the tour around the area, driving over the Iron Bridge with too heavy of a truck. Awesome experience. <laughs> and uh, yeah, looks like I'm gonna be at the Comfort Inn for tonight. Um, Katie's actually coming to see me tonight. She gets out of work at six and she'll drive here. It's like an hour drive. So she should be around seven. I get to hang out with her. 
So that's always good. What else? What else? Oh, I'm going to give Katie one of my top quilts or under one of those quilts is going bye bye. I don't need three quilts. <laughs> that's a fact. But that's a wrap on the day. What was it? Day four. 10.4 miles. And I hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby. Uh, it seems like such a waste of time to do a walk by. Crazy.